In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize your timeline while editing in Filmware 11. Keep watching! Hi everyone, it's Chloe from OwnerSure from Ora here to empower your inner video creator. We all know that keeping good habits while editing could be really helpful no matter if you are professionals or newbies. It could make editing so much more efficient. Today, I'm going to show you some easy tips to organize your media browser and timeline while editing and for more. Let's go! If you haven't already downloaded Firmware 11, get started by going to firmware.wanashure.com or click the link in the description. I'm going to create some folders first. As I have video footage from three cameras, I'm going to create one folder for each camera. Let's go to the default folder on the top left and rename it as Cam A. Then go to the bottom left of the media browser and click on this icon to add a new folder. Rename it to Cam B. Repeat the step to create another folder called Cam C. Now I'm going to import footage from the different cameras into each folder. After that, add three new folders and rename them to Production Sound, SFX, and Music. Production Sound is usually the sound that is recorded on set. In this example, we recorded all dialects from the subjects on set. So let's put them into this folder. SFX stands for sound effects. So I'll import sounds like whoosh, clapping, laughing, and other folly sounds into this folder. Next, I'll import all music files into the music folder. If needed, you can also create folders for your graphics, B-roll, and stock footage. Now, let's move on to the timeline and check out the video tracks. Usually, I'll keep the first three tracks for picture editing. These tracks are usually for picture editing that includes footage with no effects or some simple effects. For example, resizing, keyframing, Transitions or green screen. Then I'm going to set up the fourth track for the temporary footage or placeholders. So we can quickly switch the temporary footage without spending extra time looking for them. Now I'm going to set the fifth video track as the effect track. It will include all effects from Fumara that do not apply to the footage directly. Next, on the sixth video track, let's include the content that I would want to turn on and off from time to time. In this example, I'll put the subtitles here. All right, let's talk about the other tracks now. The first two tracks are usually for dialogues. We can include all the dialogues from characters in these tracks. It will be great if we can keep one track for each character. If you have more characters, feel free to assign more tracks to them. Then, the third audio track could be for any additional audio, such as voiceover. As I don't have voiceover in this video, I'll leave it empty. The fourth track could usually be the sound effects track. I'll have all the clapping sounds, laughs, and all kinds of other folly sound here. The fifth track is mostly set for ambient sound and room tone. This is when I want to keep a very subtle environment sound in specific scenes. In this example, I'm going to place the room tone I recorded on set on this track. Finally, the sixth track is usually for background music. You could also keep it empty if there's no background music in your project. If I want to make the timeline even easier to view, I'll select all the clips from a camera or a subject and color code them into a specific color. In this example, I'm going to color code the footage from camera A in red, camera B in yellow, and camera C in blue. Now, when I look at the timeline, I'll be able to distinguish footage from different cameras quickly. Alright, these are the video and auto tracks that I usually use in my projects. You don't need to use all of them, but it's good to keep the tracks consistent. So it's easier to come back and edit a project or share with other editors. Those are some tips to organize your timeline and make editing easier in Firmware 11. Do you have your own tips to make editing efficient? Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time!